Hi, it's Kofi here. On the left side, you have the unstabilized footage. The right is stabilized. It was stabilized using the software called GyroFlow, which is what we're going to talk about in this video. What is GyroFlow? It's a software for stabilizing footages. Now, it needs what they call a gyro data in order to do its work properly in stabilizing. A gyroscope is a device you use in measuring or maintaining the orientation of an object. In our phones, in our cameras, most of the time there is a gyro in there. This gyroscope records this data into what normally is referred to as the gyro data. In this gyro data contains information related to whether the camera was moving up or down, left or right, um, whether I was tilting and whatnot, and all that information is what you would put into a software like GyroFlow to stabilize your footage. To install this GyroFlow software, you can find a link in the description to the main tutorial by Elvin, who is the creator of the GyroFlow software, and it explains how to install it on your machine. In my case, I have it already installed and so I'm going to get right into it. In this video, I'm going to talk specifically about stabilizing the footages from Hawkeye Firefly X Lite, which is an FPV camera, a very lightweight camera you put on your um, on your quad, on your drone to record and then um, you can stabilize the footage. The version 3 of the Firefly records the gyro data into a .csv file, but as at the time of recording this video in the version 3, there are some gaps in the footage which you have to use what they call um, a resampler script. Um, you can find a link in the description as well to kind of fill in the gaps and try to extrapolate what the potential missing areas might have been. I've not had success with it yet, but in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to get gyro data from the actual drone on which the camera is attached to. So we can use that gyro info to stabilize the footages also in gyro flow. In summary, this video is going to be about recording your gyro data in, in beta flight. You know, you capture everything, the black box data, you attach your camera to the drone and then you fly. Whilst recording your video, you're also recording the black box data. And then when you're done with the recording, align the gyro data with the video and we do that in the black box explorer and export the file as a csv and then we use that csv to stabilize our footage so let's get straight into the video now although i'm going to talk about the firefly x light fpv camera the principle in this video should apply for other cameras too as well first of all we need to go into beta flight and enable black box recording normally 500 hertz is fine keep in mind that if you're using the internal storage after your storage gets full the recording is going to stop so uh, it's best to use an, edis, an sd card which has a bigger storage capacity so you can record as much as possible you do that in beta flight um, configurator currently that's how you enable that next up you record your video so put your camera on your drone to help and make the alignment easy it's always important to start recording the video before you add your quad and in that way when you get into aligning the footage you see how that helps after your flight you connect to your quad to your pc you activate the mass storage functionality in beta flight and you copy all the files to a folder of your choice then you also attach your camera to your PC, copy all the files onto the PC as well. You might want to put all of that in the same folder. Next step is to align the footage in Blackbox Explorer. So you can find a link in the description to see how to install the Blackbox Explorer. But with that installed, we open it up, we load in the BBL file. That's the Blackbox file. It contains all the details we need. We load the recorded video as well into this Blackbox. And now we need to align it. Start playing the video. And when you hear your video make the beep for Amen, you mark that as the start of the log. At the top, you notice how the plus or minus sync changes in relation to where you put the, uh, the log sync to start from. So keep that number in mind. We'll use that in gyro flow as well. It can be tricky trying to align the footage with the gyro data. So if you are recording onto your FC, you know, on board storage, that's your flight controller, it might be best to always copy the footages before every flight. That way it can be easy to map which video to which file, uh, flight data you're trying to align. You can also use the length to estimate which flight data matches which video. So 
that is also an option you can use. Export everything as a CSV file, save it in the folder of your choice. And with that, we are good to start with using the Gyroflow software. Again, find a link to the tutorial, the main tutorial from Elvin to see how to install the software and, you know, create your calibrate your camera and whatnot. After installation, open it up and this is where the extra fun begins. So on the input tab, open the video files, select the recorded footage. That's the one you recorded with your Hawkeye Firefly. Then select the lens preset. In my case, I created a custom lens preset for this camera because I couldn't find it in the camera presets folder on the repository that you'll find a link in the description link in too. If you're using exactly my camera, you can use my preset, you find a link also in the description. If you have a different camera, go through the camera presets, you might find the one that matches your camera. If it doesn't exist, you can create it yourself. It takes no time to do that. Find Elvin's main tutorial to see how to do the calibration as well. Next, we open the gyro log to select the exported CSV, the one we exported from the black box explorer. At the gyro lock type, select the one saying black box CSV file, scroll to the bottom or just go to the lower part of the page and click on plot and analyze. You should see something like this. Close the windows that came up and move on to the sync tab. We need to make a few changes there. So you see the first item in there is the initial rough gyro offset. That should be the same number as the one you picked from the black box explorer. So the lock sync number over there, you want to input the same number here. Now it's a rough offset. It's going to help the gyro flow to be able to align the footage and be able to, you know, put on the stabilization accordingly. So then we click on the attempt auto sync. If you want to see the progress, check on the left side or in your command prompt to see how everything is going. When it's done, you get to know from there. After the progress is complete, check the display sync plots and apply the settings and compute sync. That should bring a graph like this, which will show an orange um, kind of mappings onto the actual graph to let you know how the stabilization is flowing with the, um, the gyro data. On the stabilization tab, maintain the default um, options there. You can adjust your taste and there are a few other stabilization styles. You can find the example in Elvin's video, which at this point I think you probably have seen already. And then on the export tab, finally click export and select place to save your file. Check the terminal for progress and when it's done, you have your video exported accordingly. So that's how I stabilize my footage using the um, gyro data from the black box on my on my drone. That's it for this video. I'm, I'm using the gyro flow to stabilize more of my footages. You can find FPV Africa to see some of the footages I've shot and stabilized with the gyro flow. Thanks for joining me in this one and I hope to talk to you in the next one. Bye.